ago, a lone explorer named Arnie Sacknusson made a fantastic descent of the fabled lost kingdom of Atlantis at the Earth's core. After many centuries, his trail was discovered, first by me, Professor Oliver Lindenbrook, my niece Cindy, student Alec McEwen, our guide Lars, and his duck Gertrude. But we were not alone. The evil Count Sacknusson, last descendant of the once noble Sacknusson family, had followed us to claim the center of the earth for his power mad schemes. He ordered his brute like servant Tord to destroy our party. But the plan backfired, sealing the entrance forever. And so for us began a desperate race to the Earth's core to learn the secret of the way back. This is the story of our new journey to the center of the safe down there. Keep moving, everyone. I want to get off this bridge as soon as possible. What was that? Something's wrong with the bridge cables. Yes. They've been cut. Get back, quickly! Professor Lindenbrook, but this bridge is out, and so are you. <laughs> Alec. Jump, Alec. Grab on, hurry. Well, we almost lose you, Alec. But we get you back. Not by much. Back is right. We're all back. Right where we started from. Only this time, there's no bridge. Do not worry. The professor will think of something he always does. Well, here's what I thought of. What is it? It's a swamp buggy, of course. But what makes it go? What drives it? Can't you tell? Lars drives it. I think next time I use keep quiet, and maybe you think of something else. Some flowers, huh, Cindy? I'll say. And look at those funny hanging trees. Yeah, they're all over. Hey, aren't those vines moving? Yes, they are. Faster, Lars. We've got to get out of here. Look out, Alec! They're ripping the buggy apart! Ow! Cindy! Jump! Uh oh More of them! Turn it, Lars! Phew! I thought we were goners that time. You know, I'm not so sure this buggy was such a good idea after all. Maybe you would rather to walk, yeah? No, thanks. Gee, you know, in spite of everything, this swamp sure is beautiful. Beautiful and dangerous. I... What was that? It sounds like someone in trouble. Hurry, Lars. Not so fast, Alec. Let's see what it is first. Look! That poor thing. We've got to save him, Uncle Oliver. We will, Cindy. Can you take care of the vine, Alec? You just watch. I saved a piece of that razor-sharp coral just for something like this. Okay, Lars. Let's go. What? 
What is it? Something over there. Professor! Professor! Look! The moss creatures! We've got to get there before they do. Come on! <laughs> Some kind of fantastic snake. Down. What'll we do? It'll find us sooner or later. <laughs> Thank goodness for Gertrude. That's for sure. And I used to say I wasn't afraid of snakes. Uncle Oliver, they're taking Lars away. Come on, we've got to get after them. Wait, Alec. We'll never catch them on foot. They know the swamp too well. We'll take the buggy. What? The buggy's gone. Not a trace. That swamp man must have stolen it. Boy, that's pretty rotten. After we saved his life. Well, there's nothing we can do about it. We'll just have to try to follow on foot. Through there? Will we get lost? I'm afraid we'll just have to take that chance. Dog! Dog, where are you? Dog, blast you! Answer me! I am here, called Sap no Sam. Where? Here. What are you doing there? Why don't you look for the trail? I am looking. In the water. They must keep prisoners under the water. I just hope this cage be waterproof. What is that? A giant octopus. I can't keep going, Uncle Oliver. I'm too tired. What difference does it make? We'll never catch them anyway. We're lost. We can't give up, Alec. You know Lars wouldn't give up if you were captured. I know. I'm not giving up. But how will we find them, Professor? We don't even know. Ah! There's things moving in there. I saw them. Keep calm, Cindy. Get behind me and stay there. You too, Alec. There's some more over there. They're coming after us. Get ready. Here they come. The Swamp Man. He came back. And brought some of his friends with him. I just hope they're on our side. <laughs> 
I shall go see Gomberty Gajillo. I think he means they're going to help us attack the moss creatures. He wants us to go in the canoes. I think he wants me to go with them. Yes. We must be going to attack from both land and water. All right. Be careful, Alec. Right, Professor. See you later. Let's hurry, Cindy. Lars's life may depend on how fast we get there. There must be some way to get out of this fishbowl. Maybe that splinter. Good. Now, I will need some help. From that shark, maybe. Come here, Mr. Shark. Come on. That is a nice shark. Yeah, just a little closer, huh? Yeah. That is right, Mr. Shark. You've been getting good and mad, huh? You going to attack, yeah? so hard later, I promise you. Are we almost there, do you think? I think so. It can't be much farther if Alec and his group are coming on foot. So that's where they hang out, huh? It looks like a big beaver dam. And there's only one guard. I'll take care of him. Blasted Torg! You've lost the trail again! Why don't you watch where you're going? Look, Master! Dam over water! I see it, you fool! Why do you think I led us this way? What's that? It's Lyndon Brooks Youngwell! <laughs> and he's made friends with those... Uh, whatever they are. Come on, Torg! After them! Alec! Alec, my boy! Wait for us! Oh, no! Sack Newsome. We're delighted to see you, my boy. <laughs> we were afraid. Shh! Be quiet! Quiet? <laughs> Nonsense! I... Cash it up! Cash it up! Get out of Get back! Retreat! <laughs> What is happening, Tog? Stop them! Got him! What? Cash it out, truth! Alec and Sack Newsom. But where is Professor and Cindy? Golly, look at it. What happens now, Uncle Oliver? I think we'll go in through that opening, Cindy, as soon as Alec and the others get here. But where are they? Shouldn't they have been here by now? Yes, they should have. Unless something's gone wrong. Look! The entrance is being closed. Something has gone wrong. What will they do to us? I don't know. <laughs> Master! Piranha! They're going to throw us to the piranha! Where's Lindenbrook? Why doesn't he come and save us? He was coming in canoes. But when you warned them by making so much noise, they closed the gates. So now they can't get in. Now, see here, you overgrown leechen. This is going far enough. The gates are opening. Yes. Somehow we're
getting a second chance. You get down, Cindy. This may be rough. Come on, hurry. Gazarjic! Gazarjic! It's Lars! If only he can hold them off until the professor gets inside. Lars. It's caving in! Into the canoes! Hurry! Except the moss creatures. I think they get what they deserve. They certainly did, Lars. And I think our friends here agree with you, too. Say, what do you think happened to Count Sacknusum and Tord? I saw them getting into one of the canoes while no one was looking. Now that figures, leaving us to do all the dirty work while they steal a boat and escape. Boy. Well, who knows? These canoes are pretty hard to handle. Perhaps they got what was coming to them, too. Tor, get this canoe back into the water. Not water, Count Sacknusem. Mud. But, 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 no, oh, blast it. Ready, Lars? Yeah, I ready. OK, let's shove off. Alec, he's got your slingshot. I know. I'll make another. I gave him that one. And he gave me this. Let me see that pouch. A.S. Arnie Sacknusen. This pouch once belonged to Arnie Sacknusen. That means we're still on the right trail. But how did he get it? We'll never know that for sure, Sydney. But perhaps many years ago, Arnie Sacknusen was helped on his way by their ancestors. And he too, like Alec, left them a present as a token of his gratitude. 